Here we go. This is one of my few attempts at a live dig. This is the first 180 signal I've got. So I'm hoping it's not too deep. Okay, it says right there. Here we go. Here we go. Wasn't very well done, but my first live dig quarter. Okay, that's cool. Not sure how good this is gonna be. But here we go. Another live dig. Pretty good. I get what could be a nickel signal, and it appears to be roughly coin size. louder all right nothing so it must have come out so it to be out here oh there we go Go again, another live dig, very badly photographed. I got a nickel, that's cool. Badly, badly filmed, but another live dig. Here I go. I look like I have another dime. Uh, this is about a 136 on the 180 meter, and here it is. So I'm gonna stick this. This is probably going to be all for me today. I'm going to try a little bit more. This is Texas Tiger Digs at the Roundup. Well, I went out today, uh, this evening. Uh, I went out earlier and actually created the video and uploaded it of the only hunt I expected to do today. Well, I did expect to go back out to the trashy park with my XP DAS and some new settings I developed. This time, uh, instead of 12 megahertz, I mean 12 megahertz, 12, 12 kilohertz, it was an 8 kilohertz uh, settings and I did some uh, tinkering so I could get my uh, DAS to work correctly in this very trashy part. But instead, I decided to take the Sovereign out one more time and use it and just uh, on, the, on the old part, the part that I thought was uh, pretty much uh, pretty much uh, uh, you know emptied and once again I did get some new things and I think it might be because of the Sovereign it was a very 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 accurate uh, I got a 180 reading uh, on a 180 meter I'm using a meter on my Sovereign GT and uh, it was a quarter. I actually did a live dig, my first live dig. Uh, you probably saw it earlier in the video. It wasn't very good camera work, but you know, I'll get better. And I was using my phone because once again, I left my camera. Oh my God. Anyway, then, then I got another, I can't remember the exact uh, setting on the meter, 142. I'm not exactly sure. I have a little cheat sheet for my meter because I don't use it that often. 
and but it said it would be a nickel a new nickel I don't know if you call this new but it is a clad nickel so that's new enough uh, so yeah and it was exactly correct and then I went out and I found another one uh, which was also exactly correct and I think this is a, it was a penny signal and so yeah so you know and it worked fine I got I got a penny and so um, I and more than anything I was happy um, more than anything I was happy that the the sovereign GT was so accurate in the well with the meter on it and giving me such good results in an area that I thought I had gone over a dozen times and taken everything out I need to go back out with the sovereign because uh, I didn't really have enough time and like I said it's cool cool to cold now and it's getting dark still the days are still short so I'm gonna go back out there again maybe tomorrow I'm not sure and I still have to go by the trashy park with the dais to do some things anyway that's that's what I've got for today and like I said uh, I was using the uh, I was using the uh, the the Sovereign GT uh, for the entire uh, trip uh, it was the only well I always have the compadre with me so the compadre was my backup but I just used the GT I've been over that with a Tehan I've been over there with an Xterra 705, and I still found things uh, with the uh, with the Sovereign GT I hadn't found before. So, the GT, get it here. I was using the GT. And let me let me take a, let me take a look at the settings here. These are the settings I was using. I am I'm running disk at about four dots short of full now uh, and uh, that was to disc out iron which is that's about the range where you can disc out iron and at, and at this point I have the notch turned up almost all the way now that that was not the way I was running it in the middle of the park but as I got closer to the trashy areas around the picnic table and covered areas then I turned the I turned that up and after that is when I found the penny in a very very trashy area so I I didn't have any choice but to do it there uh, I had volume turned up quite a bit which is of course is is uh, relates to your depth to some degree with the with the uh, with the sovereign GT so any other the other settings are not really important I was on band one I was using uh, I was using threshold and not silent search which is unusual for me and uh, I was using uh, 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 ground balance at fix. I set it at track for a while, and then I set it at fix, hoping it hoping it had ground balanced itself. And my threshold was uh, as you see it now. And of course, that can change. Uh, uh, that can change with manipulation, etc. So uh, uh, you know. So that was how, I, and it worked. And it worked fine. It worked great. It worked better than I expected. It worked in an area I thought was empty. So I had real good luck with the Sovereign GT. So I'll be uh, running this out again pretty soon because I was very, very impressed. You know, I had used had used this in a while, uh, but I forgot how good it was. So I'll be back using it again. Anyway, this is Texas Tiger Digs, and uh, subscribe. You know, like I said, it's all fun and happy hunting. I'll talk to you next time.